May the flame of your love never wane, but burn ever fiercer across the years, that even in old age you would remain wellsprings of one another's delight. My love, where do I possibly begin? Today is the day, the day I have anticipated since a month into dating you. I instantly fell in love with your kindness, gentleness, sense of humor, and humbleness. I will never forget how I felt the first time you told me you loved me in Colorado, and I hope we never forget how we feel standing here today. Dear Alexis, I have been thinking about what I would write for a while now. There is so much I could say about you. To start, I want to thank you. Thank you for who you are and how you love me and others. My love for you has grown into something I can't even explain. I am so ready to be your husband. My whole life I have dreamt about caring for my wife. I know we were going to be together forever when we went to Colorado. That was a crazy trip, but my love, care, and feelings towards you came out, and I realized how strongly I had felt for you. I am truly blessed that God gave me you to experience this life with. You are my person, the one I will vow my whole heart to today before the Lord, the one I'll be there for no matter what comes our way, the one I will grow old and gray with, sitting on our porch with our corgis. Together we are better than we could ever be alone. I love you today, tomorrow, and the rest of my life, Griffin Price. I can never explain my love for you, but I promise to strive every day to show you. I am so happy to be your husband and you to be my wife. I can't wait to start a family with you. You are mine forever, and I'll never let you go. I vow to support you, honor you, and love you always and forever. I promise to work at our love and always make you my big ping pong ball. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are, as well as the person you wish to become. I promise to be there for you whenever you need me. I promise to persevere when times get tough and celebrate your triumphs. I promise to treat you with compassion rather than fairness because we are now a team. I promise to love you, protect you, lead you, and dance with you until life takes us away. I want God to be the center of our marriage and the center of our family. I cannot wait to see how you raise our kids. If they are an image of you in any way, they will be great future husbands and wives to their own spouses. Before I end, I just want to say thank you for you again. I'm beyond proud to call you my wife. May the days of your lives together be many and blessed. May the sharing of your lives together be sweet. May you be to each other true lovers, faithful friends, and best companions. May your love for one another, Alexis Griffin, flow always from the inexhaustible fountain of the greater love of God. And may you grow together in the compassion of Christ, each now as the primary human advocate of His mercies for the other and each now as the most constant conduit of His grace and love extended to the other. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Jesus, you are welcome here. 
today. Thank you for the gifts of love and for romance and for family. Father, we ask that you come and be in the center of the celebration and at the center of the new life created today is to become one. In Jesus' name, amen. May your love for one another overflow in blessing to all who have the joy of knowing you. May the world be better loved because of your love for each other. Home isn't a place, it's a person. And Alexis Griffin is your home. And Griffin, home isn't a place either, it's Alexis.